Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine and welcome back to another Feel Good Planty video. A quick reminder, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't so already. So I thought I'd start things off by introducing you to my, my giant large and in charge golden pothos. Um, she doesn't have a name. I don't name my plants. I'm not to that level yet. This plant is pretty big. She's about seven feet tall. So she is kind of outgrowing the limited space that I have. So I'm just going to cut her and propagate her and possibly plant those cuttings back into the top of the plant because near the top, it's a little bit balder because I have her hanging a little bit too high sometimes where the light from the window doesn't really reach the top of the plant. And the reason that I pull the plant a little bit higher is because I don't really like the vines touching the floor. Sometimes I accidentally step on them or they may get caught on something. So I'm just gonna cut back a few of the vines and show you how I propagate my golden pothos. All right, so you can see that these are the two main vines that are touching the floor, basically. This one is making its way down there pretty soon, but I think I'm gonna leave it alone. It's this one that gets caught sometimes when I'm stepping and I just wanna avoid, you know, stepping on my plant. So I'm gonna focus on cutting that vine and I will show you where the node is and where I will be cutting. So, oh, this one's pretty interesting. So there's a lot of leaves here and these brown bumps right here and these larger bumps are the node. And that is where a new leaf will start to grow from. So you can see like relative to where the node is, there's a leaf coming out right there, another one and there and this leaf. And there's another baby leaf coming in right here, which is great. I wanna match it up to the other longer vines. So I may just cut right here, right above this node and take off this leaf because I will be propagating it in water and you don't want any leaves to be sitting in the water cause that might lead to, you know, <laughs> the leaf rotting. So yeah, I'm gonna cut right up up here and this, is something that I can propagate fully um, if you want a longer vine propagation. All right, so I am going to be cutting the plant right here, right above this node. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'm just gonna, oh shoot, <laughs> I didn't have a good grip. gonna cut this here there okay so this final long vine I'm also gonna be cutting it because I just want to make it even to the rest of the vines that are left right here's a good spot it'll be around the same length as this one that I just cut and we got to locate the node again so here is the node and I'm gonna cut right above it not too far up because I don't want to cut off a lot. But there we go. <laughs> this one actually turned out shorter than the other ones, but that's okay. All right, so I am going to let these callus over right here for 30 minutes and I will be back and I will be putting them in water. Okay, so now that the pothos cuttings have had time to callus over, I'm gonna stick them in water now. And I'm using this clear glass bottle. It's a little bit longer because some of these stem cuttings are pretty long. And yeah, I'm putting it in this clear bottle because I'm really nosy and I wanna see how the roots develop. It is now two weeks later. Full disclaimer, I completely forgot about this video, but it worked out just fine because I am now able to show you what two weeks of waiting for propagations looks like. And as you can see, these pothos cuttings have taken very well and there's actually a bunch of growth points coming out which is super exciting. So there's actually three growth points. I also have some neon pothos cuttings that I got from a mall. Yes, a mall, a Cheesecake Factory employee actually let me have one of the cuttings that they had for display. 
uh yeah it was actually a pretty funny story in my opinion this is a great success and i will probably give these cuttings away to friends because i honestly don't have any more room for golden photos in my home it's been two weeks since i filmed the first part of the video and I completely forgot to film the conclusion, but it worked out really well because two weeks did pass by and I was able to show you some really great propagation updates. The Golden Pothos is one of the most easiest plants to propagate and by far one of the most successful. They honestly grow like a weed and they're really really fun to propagate and share with friends so i think that's what i'm gonna do with my photos cuttings but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i was able to clearly um, show you how to propagate the golden pothos and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and that's pretty much all i have for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you again on the next one bye